Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be working more on the car tutorial. Now if this isn't familiar, then go ahead and move on to the beginning of the car tutorials. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you remember, we created a public variable called car name as a string. Now we're going to go ahead and do this for each of the uh, text, field, text fields. So we'll just type public car color as a string and it looks like I forgot to rename text box one but it's actually the color of the car so we'll just type car color equals uh, text box one dot text so whenever they change the text it's going to update our car color variable so we can go ahead and get these out of the way because we're not using them Okay, so now whenever the, um, we'll come over here to numer doors, and whenever the value is changed, we want to store that value and update it in the code. So we'll create an integer value, so public um, car doors as integer. So whenever they change the value of the numeric uh, picker doors, we're going to go ahead and set car doors is going to be equal to numer doors dot and now we're going to access the um, value and if you read the description it says gets to set the value assigned to the spin box uh, so we're using the equals so it's going to be um, well this is on the right side of the equals so it's going to be getting if we had Numer doors dot value equals car doors. We'd be calling set. So car doors is going to be set to the value of numer doors. Go ahead and make some room there, and let's do that again for the horsepower. So we'll just go ahead. We'll make the horsepower the string uh, of a string type, so they can type whatever they want there, and we're not going to get any errors because it's trying to convert that to an integer. So we'll just type public car horse as string and whenever they update the horsepower we'll just type car horse equals text horse dot text so now that we've stored all of the values uh, we're going to need to know let's go back into our form one dot vb code and so we're going to use with new car one uh, new car one dot car name is going to be equal to and you can see we've got new car right here so we're just going to type add new car which is the object of new car and we're going to get the cover the public variable uh, car name and now we're going to access the color we'll set that equal to add new car dot uh, let's see car color and then we're going to need to do the number of doors and the horsepower. So dot horsepower, and we'll set that equal to add new car dot, and we're going to add, we're going to do car horse, and then we'll do it with the number of doors. We'll set that equal to add new car dot car doors. So we set the values that we're going to need for our new car one. Now there's an easier way to, um, or the, well not easier, there's a more efficient way of doing this. Instead of creating a new car object every time they create this, let's just go ahead and use the using keyword. So we'll just type using new car one as new all cars dot car. So then we'll add the end using. So uh, let's see here. Looks like we're getting an error. Let's see. Using operator type must implement system. Aha. We're going to have to come over here into our allcars.vb all file. And for our class car, we're going to have to type um, implements i disposable. 
So now we can use the using keyword when creating our new car. Let's find the code right here. Okay, so once it's done creating the car, we're going to want to add that to the list. So we'll just type cars.add, and then we'll just add new car1. So it's going to create that car, and then it's going to add it to the list, and then it's going to destroy the car uh, that was created. Now, we'll go ahead and uh, let's see. We need to add, we need to access the button click event for add, and we'll just type me dot close. Now what this is going to do is it's going to um, close out of the dialog that we currently have open. Now we'll be covering the cancel later on because now even if they click cancel it's going to um, add that card to the list and we're going to be working on uh, making it not add the card to the list when they hit cancel. So we'll start debugging and see if we get the results that we wanted. So we'll type new, we'll click new car, and it opens up our new car dialog. You can see that we can't go back to uh, form one. So let's set the name of the car to um, let's do a Dodge Charger. Set the color of the car to black. We'll set the number of doors equal to four, and we'll give it 300 horsepower. We'll go ahead and click add, and you can see that. It added the car to the array list, but it did not add the car to the list box. So what we're going to need to do is we'll type uh, list cars dot items dot add, and we will add new car one, and we just want to go ahead and get the car name for that. So whatever the name is, it's going to be added to that and the index will correspond to the index in our cars array list. So we'll do this once more. We'll click new car. The name of the car will be the Dodge Charger. Color of car will be black. It has four doors and 300 horsepower. We'll click add and you can see that I add the Dodge Charger to the list. And we can show the info of the CRV, the Mustang, and then when we get down to Dodge Charger when we show the info of that, we get car name, Dodge Charger, car color is black, the number of doors is 4, and the car speed is 0. Uh, sorry about that alarm that went off. But um, anyways, the car name is Dodge Charger, black, number of doors is 4. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about uh, using the cancel button so it does not add the car uh, to the list box. So go ahead and put this code in if you haven't already. You can pause it right here if you need to do that. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.